Have you ever been invited to eat at the captain's table? And if so, what was it like? <laughs> we invite the captain to eat at our table. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> because, no. Uh, no, no, I... you haven't. <laughs> Is. Remember hearing the uh, the Imperial March as we pulled away? That was his idea. idea. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. In truth, we, we actually don't sit down for dinner. So. <laughs> Always in motion. We're like Ocean's Eleven. We're just eating shrimp cocktails standing in the door. That's right. That is a that is sort of a uh, a perfect introduction to the captain, who he is, <laughs> and what it's been like working with him. Uh, the whole ship's staff has been great. Uh, the captain is hilarious. Uh, comes to this. We have a meeting every morning with the ship staff where we talk about all the all the issues, sort of system wide. And, and uh, he always comes and lets us know how it's how it's going with the ship and brags about any special maneuvers that he's going to have to do. <laughs> uh, but he's uh, he's great. He's very very funny, and uh, it's been it's been a pleasure working with the, the ship staff this year. And, but we do learn those details. Uh, like it's something you may not have noticed when you did that in um, Cabo, there were a couple other ships in, but he is aware of when they go, when they leave, and he knew that they were going to be heading out of port, and so he maneuvered the ship closer uh, to port. The term he actually used was slide. The Osterdam slide, yes. <laughs> there, there basically, there are three, this is interesting, there are three, there's sort of the best anchor spot, the second best, and the number two, and the number three. And uh, there, there, one and two were already taken, so he begrudgingly pulled it to number three. He found out when number two was leaving, he cleared it with the shore that he was going to do this slide, this like parallel park, <laughs> where he would have to, he would have to move the ship sideways toward the other ship, and then we basically Tokyo drifted in the bay. <laughs> uh, and once the number two ship had left, the number one ship started moving into the two slot. And he radioed them, he said, no, no, I'm taking the number two slot. So it was this whole very exciting thing, and uh, it all happened with the uh, thrusters while I was on stage rehearsing. <laughs> Which looked something like this. But terrible. it does go to show it's not just the hotel aspects of this where they're keeping all of us in mind. And the whole purpose for that was it makes the distance of tendering shorter, so we're all on the tenders uh, for less time. So it's pretty terrific.